What's up, what's up guys? Dundas here, day 306, here it is. So tonight I decided last minutely to go to the gym to start off with and B, whilst I was at the gym after I did some leg exercises, decided maybe let's do a PR attempt once again tonight. So this is my second day in a row doing a PR attempt. I promise tomorrow I don't think I will do a PR attempt because I do need to just slightly rest my muscles, my grip, my arms, and just my CNS in general. I think it just needs a bit of a break. I might do a CO2, I don't know what it's called, but essentially um, you take a deep breath in, you take a few deep breaths in and out, then on your final deep breath, you take a deep breath in and exhale and slowly release your breath for as long as possible. This essentially works out whether or not your body has recovered by determining how much CO2 you can retain and how long it takes for you to expel this CO2. So you imagine you've got a tiny little straw from your mouth and you're blowing out of that tiny little straw from your mouth and you wanna do it as slow as possible to retain as much CO2 whilst ex expelling the CO2 at the same time. If you are able to blow off, if it takes you roughly 45 to 60 seconds then you're good to go again and your body's recovered enough optimally you want greater than 60 seconds that means your body's totally recovered uh, but 45 to 60 seconds is still great and you can continue going strong as you wish from a CNS point of view Whew. okay so um, maximal pull-ups tonight trying what i noticed i don't know i don't know if it's because i've just been doing pull-ups every single day and also did a pr yesterday and doing a pr today uh the straight bar i think it's harder I, i've come to the conclusion that doing maximal effort pull-ups on a straight bar is not as easy as doing maximal pull-up on a pull-up bar you know the ones that kind of angle out a little bit so it's a bit more comfortable on your grip and stuff like that i think think I don't know who knows that's something I need to test out and I want to trial that out and see whether or not I can prove that so hypothesis I guess is straight bar pull-ups conducting pull-ups on a straight bar is more difficult than performing pull-ups on a pull-up bar the ones with the angles and stuff like that get that out of the title though so let's see if that works or not, you know, see if I can prove or disprove that hypothesis in the next kind of week or two. Given also, like, looking at how I'm going so far, I have a really good suspicion that in the next week or two, I'm going to hit 50 pull-ups. I'm excited. I, I'm super pumped about this. I have been working on this for 300 plus days and I need to achieve it. I really want to do it way before 365 days. Otherwise, you know, 365 days is my goal, but I want to reach it before 365 days. And I think I've done enough to prepare my body, prepare my hands, prepare my muscles, prepare my mindset to get this 50 pull-ups in one set. I've got this. I'm a ninja, even though I haven't practiced ninja stuff for a while. Not physically like martial arts ninja, like the Ninja Warrior TV show type of thing the cool obstacle course stuff anyways let's do it yeah um finalizing my movement for tonight is just my i don't know what these are called pull up side steppy type thing um i've been doing them in the past few videos and they're starting to feel a bit more comfortable with how i'm doing them it may not appear as though they're smoother but in my mind it feels a lot smoother i'm more comfortable with the movement my body feels less sort of unco when i'm performing these exercises and i think especially on front on it doesn't look too too bad so i'm winning in that department i think on that note on a positive i'm out peace out good morning good night good afternoon ciao